Hi all and welcome back to my channel. I am now starting an <clears throat> Alice in Wonderland journal. I've actually, <clears throat> you'll have to excuse me, I've got the flu. It's sort of still settling in if you know what I mean. It's shown its ugly head. I hope it doesn't get worse. So please excuse me with my, you know, snivels and whatever. Okay, so I've, I'm making two. And so far I've got three signatures in each one. So this is kind of the prep stage, um, you know, the intro. <clears throat> so if you're going to make this with me, you can start prepping for it. And this paper is from my, por my porch prints. And what I've done, I printed a lot out. Let's just put one aside. And um, I, I've used copy, pa copy paper. This is also copy paper that I just dyed using f uh, food coloring. <clears throat> and what I've done is I've stitched them back to back. Okay, so we have like so, just to show you. And there, and this is like a cream, creamy yellow. Can you see? So they stitch together. It just gives your pages more substance rather than using the single page, although there's nothing wrong with the single page. So, um, and then we have the center page, which on each center page, I'd like put a picture. I'm not going to do a, a whole lot of distressing. Um, this is coffee dyed paper here. <clears throat> I thought it went well there. And that's that one. <clears throat> and then we have the last one. And oh my goodness, I'm going to sneeze, I think. There we go. Pink uh, copy paper that I bought. The same blue dyed one, and this also is just bought. And then so on some of them now, I've, I've left the sides open to, you know, for a pocket. On other ones, all I've done is stitch down like so to leave these two open so we can stick things inside. I hope you'll follow along with me. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? Um, a quick show of this of this one. Of course, no two are the same. <clears throat> I mean, I think this looks fabulous here. Yeah? Um, and you can see there's not a lot of writing space. Well, there is. I mean, you can write on here. But I'm probably going to put this guy here. I've made a few notes. Where's my little notes? I've lost them already. <laughs> doesn't surprise me. Okay, I've got these two for embossing hearts and polka dots. And I'm also going to be using <clears throat> the Cricut Acetate. Love this stuff. You can use vellum um, or you can, oh, what's it called when you put it through that heat machine? Oh my goodness me, me and my memory. It's the medication I'm on. It makes me forget things so badly. I, I actually want to come off. Anyway, <clears throat> so you can see once again I've stitched. And like this one is only stitched down, so I've left this open at the top. It's just pu purely random. There's no planning and I'm going to put it in this place, okay? And then we have that. And of course the rest, it's all sort of the same. I love this. This is my fa one of my favorite scenes in Alice in Wonderland, although it's been such a long time. Ah, this one I don't have a picture on the... That's okay, I'm going to leave it like that. And hopefully we'll do something. Just to give you a quick run through. Okay, so that's three... Of course, I'm only going to be making one on camera, you know, otherwise we'll be here forever. And then what you can do, because I thought, you know, not a lot of writing. Because I, I, it, this is going to be, I'm hoping, to make it quite decorative. So with sort of leftover papers, I've made two small journals, which we are going to insert into <clears throat> uh, the big journal and now let me show you what I did and this was actually a mistake that I made <laughs> yeah is it this one yeah um, that way yeah um, I didn't realize that I had three pages is it this one Where is it Ugh, I wonder, yeah, this one. It's got three pages and I was going to just stitch it together like I had the other ones and then of course I had done that and I thought, oh, what have I done? So I took it out and then I thought, okay, no problem. 
So I stitched down the middle and I left the opening here so we got like a double pocket there. <clears throat> and then this will serve perfectly well for writing and I, uh, for writing. So stitch down one side, stitch down the middle. I mean if you don't have a machine or you just don't want to stitch, just glue it. Okay. And then I want to add some more papers for writing. So I will add that to this. I might even add some more depending on how the journal goes. And I used my punch to round the edge, the big one. And I did it and then I made a smaller one. If you want the measurements for this, I suppose I can give it. This one I know is six by four, because I've just done it. And nothing is stitched together because I'm probably going to add <coughs> papers. Now these are all single sheets, as you can see. Little coffee dyed and um, like pastel colour. So again I might add more to this so that there's adequate writing space in the journal. And then we can decorate away to our heart's content. Um, <clears throat> and then guys, because then I thought I've got these and rather than throw them away, I'm going to make a tiny little journal to go in this. <laughs> See? That'll make an excellent journal. And then I concertinaed one. Where is it? Again, I don't know where it is. I'll, I get, you know, playing around. But I suppose we can get to that later on. So just keep these little bits and, uh, and pieces so that we can do make little journals to attach to the main one. And, uh, okay. And then I've done this. But I, I don't know if I'm happy. I used the, the spray. Where is it? Yeah, it is right here. This one. Color Bloom Cotton Candy Spray Mist. But I don't know if I like it. So I might, I think I might just redo this again. It's just for some reason not sitting well with me. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Don't know where I'm going to put it yet. And then I used this heart, so I, I, I actually stitched this down the middle and then I used the heart to cut it out on both sides because I want to stick um, <clears throat> the acetate in there. Whether I'm going to make a shaker on one side and then just a picture on the other one, I'm not sure. Or maybe I'll make another one with a shaker and one with pictures. And then I've cut out, I mean, I printed this ages ago. And I thought I must do it. So I've got all the envelopes. A lot of some of the stuff I've cut out. And of course I'm going to use them. Um, I already have an idea. <laughs> so and this is also going to be kind of ad lib, you know me. And um, I will use all, all the stuff I've printed. And I've got all this is from another collection. It doesn't belong here, but anyway. You see, and then I thought maybe. Let's just get this out the way. I know I'm rambling on now. But maybe I'll use... What will that look like? One of these. On the acetate. Oh, this one is so pretty. I'll, I'll probably have to print a few. And as for the cover, <clears throat> I, um, it's going to be soft cover. And I have an idea for it already. Here's my little piece of paper. Just to show you how sometimes <laughs> I do sort of, oh, for goodness sake, I'll show you in another one. Yeah, I'll show you in another one. And then I've got just, you know, the, the, the teacups that I've cut out. Not sure yet. And that one was very nice as a belly band. I might have to print another one out. And there's these gorgeous tabs, which I want to use. So, oh, and I've got this. As you can see, mostly some of it is cut out. Haven't decided exactly yet what to do with them, but we will get there. So I thought I would just give you a heads up on that. And then of course this is going to take, I have decided, <laughs> lots of lace and, you know, ruffles and things. So get your trims out. This is a lace that I dyed and it came out quite nice. It was supposed to be red. <laughs> <laughs> came out pink which I'm happy with it's fine so I'll probably be using some of this on there and of course <coughs> I want to get sorry <coughs> some blue as well 
grey, I mean pink and grey is always good together. And I think I'm going to tune out now because my nose is starting to drip. And um, I will be back as we start the journal. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care now. Bye bye. And hey guys, if you are going to do it with me, comment below. I'd love to know. You know, it, and it really encourages me to carry on making. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hopefully. And um, to subscribe and share. Share my video everywhere, please. <laughs> so that I can grow my numbers and do more. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. See you soon now. Bye-bye.